I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Good evening and welcome to the service of evening prayer from the chapel at Trinity Episcopal Church in Southport, Connecticut. My name is Rob Lawton and I'm the Associate for Youth and Family Ministries here and wherever you may be joining us from, please know that you are very welcome to this service. If you'd like to follow along, the text can be found in the Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 117. It can also be found online at bcponline.org. On the menu on the left-hand side, click on the Daily Office. A new menu will appear on the right. Click on Daily Evening Prayer, right to. And the pages are numbered the same way there as they are in the book, so you can follow along that way. We have some painting work going on just outside the church, so you may hear some beeping or some loud noises. And just uh, know that that's what that is. Um, we apologize for that distraction. But again, thank you for joining us this evening. We begin on page 117. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 107, beginning on page 746, and we'll say part 1, which is verses 1 through 32. So that's Psalm 107, part 1, page 746. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let all those whom the Lord has redeemed proclaim that he redeemed them from the hand of the foe. He gathered them out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some wandered in desert wastes. They found no way to a city where they might dwell. They were hungry and thirsty. Their spirits languished within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He put their feet on a straight path to go to a city where they might dwell. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness and deep gloom, bound fast in misery and iron, because they rebelled against the words of God and despised the counsel of the Most High. So he humbled their spirits with hard labor. They stumbled, and there was none to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them out of darkness and deep gloom, and broke their bonds asunder. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy, and the wonders he does for his children. For he shatters the doors of bronze, and breaks in two the iron bars. Some were fools and took to rebellious ways. They were afflicted because of their sins. They abhorred all manner of food, and drew near to death's door. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them, and saved them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy, and the wonders he does for his children. Let them offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and tell of his acts with shouts of joy. Some went down to the sea in ships, and plied their trade in deep waters. They beheld the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. Then he spoke, and a stormy wind arose, which tossed high the waves of the sea. They mounted up to the heavens and fell back to their depths. Their hearts melted because of their peril. They reeled and staggered like drunkards, and were at their wits' end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper and quieted the waves of the sea. Then were they glad because of the calm, and he brought them to the harbor they were bound for. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. As for you, my flock, thus says the Lord God, I shall judge between sheep and sheep, between rams and goats. Is it not enough for you to feed on the good pasture, but you must tread down with your feet the rest of your pasture? When you drink of clear water, must you foul the rest with your feet? And must my sheep eat what you have trodden with your feet, and drink what you have fouled with your feet? Therefore says the Lord God to them, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep, because you pushed with flank and shoulder and butted at all the weak animals with your horns until you scattered them far and wide. I will save my flock, and they shall no longer be ravaged, and I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them. He shall feed them and be their shepherd, and I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will make with them a covenant of peace and banish wild animals from the land, so that they may live in the wild and sleep in the woods securely. I will make them in the region around my hill a blessing, and I will send down the showers in their season. They shall be showers of blessing. The trees of the field shall yield their fruit, and the earth shall yield its increase. They shall be secure on their soil, and they shall know that I am the Lord when I break the bars of their yoke and save them from the hands of those who enslave them. They shall no more be plunder for the nations, nor shall the animals of the land devour them. They shall live in safety, and no one shall make them afraid. I will provide for them a splendid vegetation, so that they shall no more be consumed with hunger in the land, and no longer suffer the insults of the nations. They shall know that I, the Lord their God, am with them, and that they, the house of Israel, are my people, says the Lord God. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture, and I am your God, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening is on page 119, the Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love, as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But all impurity or covetousness must not even be named among you, as is fitting among saints. Let there be no filthiness, nor silly talk, nor levity, which are not fitting. But instead, let there be thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no one impure or one who is covetous, that is an idolater, as any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for it is because of these things that the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore do not associate with them, for once you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord, Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is a shame even to speak of the things that they do in secret. But when anything is ex exposed by the light, it becomes visible. For anything that becomes visible is light. 
Therefore it is said, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. Look carefully, then, how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with all your heart, always and for everything, giving thanks in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Second Canticle is on page 120, the Song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. an interesting connection between our two readings from this evening. In Ezekiel, we hear that God will judge between sheep and sheep, that is, people who maybe initially had equal access to the field to graze and to grow strong, but because of others using and abusing their strength and their power, kept still others from being able to graze as equally as they might like. I think that's... Um, a wonderful message and lesson for, for what we're experiencing right now in this country, especially with the, um, the riots that are happening in Minneapolis over the death of George Floyd. This is a community that for years, centuries even, has been pushed out of the way by the stronger sheep because of the sins of racism and white supremacy. And we are seeing what, what that has now wrought. Likewise, in his letter to the Ephesians, Paul, Paul tells us that we are not to be deceived by anyone with empty words, for it is because of these things that the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. It is important at this time to call out these sins of racism as they happen, because anything else is, as Paul says, just an empty word. And anything that does not promote the equality and justice for all of God's children is, in fact, a sin. So we are at a, a crossroads right now at, in this country about which direction we will take as we go forward. And the way of justice, I think, is to demand equality for all people as God's children. Amen. We continue with the Apostles' Creed on page 120. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, 
nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us, and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, by your death you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you, and wake up in your likeness, for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. And now I invite your prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. We'll say together the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us the grace of this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the Church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for the service of evening prayer tonight. A reminder that this is our last evening prayer that we'll be offering live here, but we'll be continuing with morning prayer Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. And we hope that you'll join us on Sunday at 10 a.m. for our celebration of the Feast of Pentecost. And that can be found at 10 a.m. on our Facebook page, our YouTube page, and also our website, trinitysouthport.org. Wherever you are this evening, I hope you have a wonderful night. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless.